I've been having a little bit of troubles with cooking because my big stove doesn't really fit in my car. I sold off my little butane stove with my bus, but that wasn't really that useful anyways about six months out of the year in this area because they don't really work below about 40 degrees. And personally, I don't like cooking in my car for a variety of reasons. I don't like having open flames in my car. Uh, I don't want to burn the car down accidentally. I also don't really want to be exposed to the exhaust fumes from those open flames like that. It's just not good for your health probably. Although there's plenty of things that I do that probably aren't good for my health. And fortunately I'm in a position where I can cook outdoors pretty much year round. There's always somewhere where I can cook. So I decided to get a new camp stove. And this one makes use of my existing propane bottles that I have. So I've been using those one pound propane bottles with my big stove and it works great on that. And now I'm gonna try using it on my little stove. I just wanna point out that today the weather is kind of smoky looking. The smoke just started rolling in this evening and I don't know where it's coming from. I looked at the fire map and there was nothing on it. So uh, I don't know what that's about, but you can definitely smell it in the air. Hopefully it's not like last year where it was raining ash for a few weeks there. But uh, anyways, let's fire up the stove and see how it works. So here's the box that it comes in. It's just a really simple Coleman stove. The one thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have any sort of storage. So it's just this box that I have to store it in for now. So I might have to think about exactly how I want to store this. It's gotta be a better way. All this comes with is this base plate here, which holds a propane bottle and then a burner on top. This burner has a built-in windscreen and that should protect the flame pretty well, I think. You can see the burner is actually well down inside the windscreen. So I think this will probably work pretty well. I couldn't tell you how it's going to work in the wind because today it's not very windy. Also, as you can see, I don't have any table out here, so I'm just setting it on the ground at the parking lot. Okay, so let's fire this up and see how it works. There is a version of the stove that is self-lighting, uh, but this one is not one of those stoves, so I have to light this manually. So this is actually on. You can see the flame is pretty much transparent, at least in this lighting. And let's put this on the stove. Kind of interesting, the knob that controls the flame here has notches. So it has very discrete steps, so this won't come loose. But it seems to work pretty well. I don't really want a high flame on this because I'm just trying to warm up the food. On the menu today, is this random Trader Joe's microwavable garlic sauce Thai noodles, whatever that means. I got that because it can be eaten cold since I didn't know whether this was gonna work or not, but it clearly does. All I have to do is warm this up and we'll see how long it takes. You can see I also put a couple of slabs of tofu in there because why not? While we're waiting for that, we can watch the sunset. Really beautiful day out here today. And that wildfire smoke really does make perfect sunsets every time. So it's been, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds and we're already boiling. This is the kind of thing that we're supposed to just warm it up in the microwave and not let a lot of the liquid boil off. Say it does smell good. So there is a lot of liquid in there, so I'm gonna let a little bit of it boil off here. But I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the stove so far. It's just simple, it works. Probably too big to take backpacking or something like that. But if you're out doing a canoe trip or maybe out on a small sailboat, something like that, this would be perfect. And I think for car life, this is actually really good too. I would stir this up, but I don't have a metal fork, so. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay, let's turn this off. I think we're pretty well warmed through there. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute to cool down a little bit. I just don't wanna melt my fork when I try to go and eat it. As you can see, the sun is now down. And let me give my final thoughts on this burner here. So first off, there's nothing to go wrong on it. It's just a couple of holes in a valve. So as long as those work, then it's all good. I actually don't mind not having an igniter because it's good to always have a working lighter around. And if you're always having to use a lighter to turn your stove on, make sure that your lighter is always functional. The only thing I don't really like about this setup is that there's no real great way to store it except in the original storage box. So I'm gonna have to come up with my own solution and it doesn't come standard with that. Otherwise, this is really a perfect stove. Uh, it's really simple, it's compact, and it fits the propane containers and it uses propane, which is a common fuel. You can find it at any gas station, any grocery store, anywhere in the country. So that makes this really useful for me and I think I'm gonna stick with this for a while. So if you're interested in buying one of those, I'm gonna put an affiliate link down below. 
I recently just signed up for Amazon Affiliates. I don't know if it's gonna bring in any money or any significant amount of money, but anytime you click on the link and buy something from Amazon, then I get a small cut, I get a small commission, and maybe that'll be useful, maybe it won't, I'm not really sure. I think it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. Uh, so thank you for watching, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.